Now this video will explain about post-operative eye care that everybody should follow. I mean, starting with medication, now, most of the eye surgeries will need eye drops. One principle is common to all, it always has to be a single drop application and you have to close the eye for 30 seconds. Now in cataract surgery, two most commonly used drops are steroid and an antibiotic eye drop. So for convenience, we label steroid as drop number one and antibiotic as drop number two. So drop number one, as you can see, there is a table there which has got time slots. So uh, this uh, table can be utilized to guide the application for the drop. So over a period of four weeks, the drop has to be used. So in the first week, it has to be applied six times a day, according to the time mentioned there. In the second week it reduces to four times a day in the third week it reduces to two times a day and in the fourth week it reduces, it reduces to one time a day whereas the drop number two which is an antibiotic eye drop has to be applied only in the first week and it has to be applied six times a day as you can see that the time uh, mentioned for the antibiotic drop is about half an hour later than the steroid so that uh, it does not interfere with the action of the, of the steroid eye drop so you, this is a rough uh, timing but you can always adjust the timing out according to your convenience now how to install an eye drop for this the attendant whoever is uh, going to apply the drop has to wash the hands with soap and water uh, hand disinfectant can be applied then the patient's head is tilted a little bit and patient is asked to look up you may may not touch the lower lid in order to apply the drop a single drop is applied and uh, the patient is then asked to close the eyes Now that, let us look at how to clean the eye. Cleaning eye should be done once a day and you should be done with the sterile tissue paper. So this is a sterile tissue paper which uh, is pulled out and the edge with which it's going to be cleaned should not be touched with the fingers. So once you apply the drop, a little bit of the drop comes out and with the aid of that drop, you can clean the eye comfortably. You need not open the eye for cleaning. You can clean it with the closed eyes also. So idea is to clean the eyelashes and the eyelid margin. Now, how do we apply protective eye shield at night? Daytime patient is supposed to wear protective glasses. Nighttime, the shield is there, which should be cleaned with, with the sanitizer or with a liquid soap. And it has to be taped with the help of uh, medicated tape, which is provided and it has to be vertically applied on the eye and the tape will keep it attached to the eye so night time this has this is where how it should be applied once patient gets up in the morning he can go back to his black glasses now certain precautions have to be maintained in the post op period Let's look at the list which you should avoid for next two weeks. So head bath should be avoided. Patient should not rub his eyes. Splashing on the uh, splashing of water on the face. And driving till a surgeon gives a go ahead. Playing with small children should be avoided because accidental uh, injury can happen. Straining at stool should be avoided. You can take luxatives for that. Avoid sleeping on the operated side for at least three four days. Then you should avoid cigarette smoking and alcohol. Avoid having too many visitors at home for fear of contacting infection. Avoid lifting of heavy weights. Avoid going to crowded places. Heavy mobile usage can cause eye strain, so that should be avoided. Office work and public transport preferably should be avoided for two weeks. A follow-up schedule will be given to you following the surgery. And uh, in between, if there is any query or any issues can always contact us over mobile or whatsapp so that uh, those issues can be sorted out in case of uh, development of severe pain redness and sudden decrease in vision you have to report urgently because that might indicate an infection and it needs to be treated as soon as possible we wish you a very speedy recovery from the surgery thank you